Brock at the Ahu, Brock at the Ahu Shai, Brock at the Ahu, Brock at the Ahu Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Let's bless you, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Bless you, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. Bashim Rakakadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Shanya Kabad Laha Zakwanyam, Shaya Sha'ala, Shanya Dabu Laha to the Salakia, Shanya Dabu Kabad Honor Laha to the Zakwanyam Elders. Shaya Sha'ala of Israel. Shalawam wa Barakim Laha Bakayim Shaya Sha'ala. Shalawam peace wa and Barakim blessings. Laha to the uh, Bakarium elect Shaya Sha'ala of Israel. Okay, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to start. Uh, this is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Okay. The scriptures say, uh, this is Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 5. It says, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushua Bashim Rakakadash understand all things. Okay? So, considering these words, considering these holy scriptures, and seeking after the Lord, all right, gives us understanding in all things. This is 2 Timothy 2, verse 7. It says, consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. And this scripture right here proves that Yahweh Shai, all right, came from the loins of men, okay? He came from the seed. All right, if you go into that word seed, in the Greek, it will say sperma, okay? We know sperm comes from that Greek word sperma. So it, the scriptures literally say that Yahweh came from the sperm of David. Okay? So we know he didn't, there's no such thing as a, uh, a immaculate conception. All right? Verse 9, it says, wherein I suffered trouble. So Apostle Paul, you see, suffered trouble uh, for, for the gospel that he preached as an evildoer, even unto bonds. Okay? So the people demonized Apostle Paul for, for teaching this word, okay, to the point where he was cast into prison, okay? They 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 cast him as an evildoer, okay? Yahweh Shai was was murdered, okay? They they casted um the, the two thirds of the nation of Israel, they casted him out as a as an evildoer. They said we the, the two thirds of the nation of Israel chose to rather have a murder and a thief than to let Yahweh Shai come down from the cross. All right, only for what? Teaching the words and the sayings and the doctrine of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, it says, but the word of Yahweh is not bound. All right, the, the word is not bound. It's, it's infinite. Okay, this is um the book of Isaiah chapter 40. Is it 40? Yeah, All right, this is Isaiah 40. And I'm going to read one though. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith Yahweh. Okay, and how do you comfort the uh, the people of Israel, all right, the remnant, the elect, through these words, okay? This is uh, Isaiah 40 and 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakadash, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. So there's the, the word of the Lord, the understanding of Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai it is infinite. There's no searching it out. Okay? There's no end to his understanding. All right? This is um Second Timothy chapter 2, verse uh, 10. It says, Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, with eternal glory. So Apostle Paul was saying he's going to endure the suffering that comes for teaching the word. Okay? Because the scriptures say, we all know this one. Let's get it. This is Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So if you serve the Lord in sincerity and in truth with a pure heart, all right, you're going to catch hell. You're going to go through suffering. You're going to go through persecution. Okay, but if the Lord is really dealing with you, 
He's building up your faith. He's building up your understanding that when you go through it, it's light. You can get through it. You can endure it. Okay? Verse 2, it says, 2 Timothy 2 and 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahushua. So, Apostle Paul endured the suffering, all right, of teaching the word so that the elect brethren, okay, that was chosen from the foundation of the earth, may receive the word and, and receive salvation. It says, in Yahushua, Yahushua with eternal glory, okay? Because once you receive this word and truly believe and you hold on to it to the end, you're going to receive eternal glory. What's that? It's it's never-ending glory, the kingdom of heaven, okay? You're going to be a ruler in the kingdom of heaven. Verse 11, it's about to go into it. It says, it is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Okay, but it's a faithful saying that if we, if we suffer right now, we sacrifice our life right now, we bear our cross right now, all right, just like Yahweh Shai did when he was on the scene 2,000 years ago, we're going to live with him. When Yahweh Shai makes his return, okay, we're going to have, we're going to inherit eternal life, okay? Because Yahweh Shai, he's on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father right now and live it forever, all right? He's gonna come come back to the earth and and um put us up in a glorious state. Okay. Let me uh get a quick precept. This is um uh, Matthew chapter 19 verse um, 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, and he's speaking to Yahweh Shai, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? And that's part of the um that's part of the suffering. That's okay? Forsaking all. Taking your heart and your mind off of the things that you once hold dearly to, whether that be family members, friends, loved ones, okay, passions, careers that you're into. You have to forsake all and follow Yahweh Shai. Okay, the scriptures say that the, my sheep hear my voice and hear them and follow uh, and follow with the land whatsoever he goeth. Okay? So we're supposed to follow Yahweh Shai and drop the ways that we were uh, caught into. All right. But Peter asked, all right, we did all this. What are you going to receive for it? Verse 28, it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So Yahweh Shai is saying, when he, when he makes his second coming, when he makes his return, or and sits on the throne of his glory. So when he puts down the wicked from being in rulership, okay, and he and he sets up his throne, his kingdom, all right, Yahweh Shai says he's going to set us up and put us on thrones, okay? We're going to be rulers, okay, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So we're going to be the top Israelites in the kingdom of heaven, all right, if we endure this hardship, all right, that Apostle Paul is, is uh, exhorting us to uh, to do. Okay, so this is 2 Timothy 2. I'm going to read verse 12. It says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he, he also will deny us. Okay, but if we suffer right now, we're going to reign with Yahweh Shai. All right, get, I'm going to get this word reign in the Greek. I'm also going to get it in the Hebrew. All right, uh, reign in the Greek. Uh, sum... Sumbaselio, it says to reign together, metaphor to possess supreme honor, liberty, blessedness with one in the kingdom of the Most High. So the highest honor you can receive, okay, is to suffer right now, and you're going to receive the highest honor in the kingdom to come, okay? You got to put off the things right now because you're going to uh, benefit greatly. You're going to have a great recompense of reward all right, in the kingdom to come. All right. And um, let me just grab that real quick. This is Hebrews chapter 10. All right. And it says. 35. Cast out away, therefore, your confidence. Con meaning with fidence going back to fide, which means faith. So cast out away your faith, which have great recompense of reward. OK, there's a great payback. All right. A, a great reward for us restored in heaven, okay? If we endure the suffering, we endure the persecution, okay? 
and we and endure unto the end the hatred okay the scripture say you shall be hated of many men for my name's sake but he that endureth unto the end the same shall be saved okay recompense means payback okay so lord figuratively has a huge okay infinite amount of wealth that he's going to pay us okay for going through what we're going through right now, faithfully, cheerfully, we take, if we take, let me go back to Sirach 2, Sirach 2, and uh, I'm going to read one again, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, okay, because we're going to be increased, okay, Do, uh, cleave unto the Lord when you're going through this hell, Okay, and constantly endure it because the Lord is going to increase us at the end. All right. And that's what it's all about. Verse four says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. We're supposed to take this cheerfully. Okay. The uh, disciples, the apostles, when they were um, beaten for the name of Yahweh Shai, they rejoiced that the Lord counted them worthy to go through suffering. Okay. Because they understood and knew the, the, the recompense of the reward that they were going to receive. It says, be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. We got to be patient, okay? We're at we're a lower state right now, okay? We're not supposed to walk around proud, okay? Like we're kings and rulers. We're servants upon the earth, okay? But the Lord says he's going to take the beggar out of the dunghill and sit him upon the throne of glory, all right? And that's what we're hoping for, okay? To be sat upon the throne of glory, okay? The scriptures say that um, all, let me get it real quick in Philippians, all right? This is uh, Philippians chapter 2. All right. And I'm just going to start at 5. It says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahweh who being in the form of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. Okay? Yahweh Shai, we have to have this mind in us that was in Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yahweh Shai, um, you know, he was perfect, okay? But he made himself of no reputation. He had spiritual power. He could have made himself a like a king, okay? After he did a, a spiritual, after he demonstrated his spiritual power, okay, and did that miracle, made the uh, the loaves of bread, fill the multi feed the multitude, and the fish feed the multitude, okay? They they sought to make him a king. But Yahweh Shai went to the mountains alone. Okay, because he made himself of no reputation. Okay, and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. All right, being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Okay, and this is remember, verse 5 said, Let this mind be in you, which also was in Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach. All right, we got to humble ourselves. Okay, this Yahweh Shah said to his disciples, um, uh, he that humbled himself like this child, the same shall be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so this is the time of humility. The scriptures say, before honor is humility. Verse 9 says, wherefore the Most High also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Now Yahweh Shai has received his glory because he humbled himself and was obedient unto the cross, even unto death. Okay, so now Yahweh Shai is exalted, okay, above every name, okay. Verse 10, that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. All right. So every every being, every creature, every body from every nation all right, is going to bow down to Yahweh Shai and confess and say out of their own mouth that Yahweh Shai is Lord. Okay, and when our Lord Yahweh Shai makes His return, if we endure, okay, Yahweh Shai is going to set us up, okay, and make us top men and rulers in the kingdom to come, and everybody and every being is going to also have to bow down to us, to the glory of Yahweh Shai, okay, the glory, yeah, every, we we praise Yahweh Shai to the glory of Yahweh, to the praise to the glory of the Father, okay. Now, these other peons, these heathens, okay, they're going to bow down to the elect, to the glory of Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, 
Now I'm going to go back into 2 Timothy's 2. All right. And uh, it says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Now I'm going to go get the word reign in Exodus. This is Exodus 15. All right. Verse 18. It says, Yahweh shall reign forever and ever. Okay. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. All right. Now we're going to get the Hebrew for that. All right. And the Hebrew word for reign. All right. If you look in the top, H4427. Oh, Akim should know this one. It's Ma, La, and Ka. Malak. All right. Which means king. All right. So the Lord shall be king forever. All right. Well, the scriptures say in 2 Timothy 2, all right, and 13, that. It's, oh, Slaki and 12. If we suffer, we should also reign with him. All right. So if we suffer right now, we're going to be kings with Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh Shai is known as the king of kings and lord of lords. Okay. We're going to be a king with Yahweh Shai, a true ruler, true, ru true royal royalty, true power. This is not. This is not some fantasy, okay? This is reality, okay? We're going to have gold. We're going to have silver, precious stones, fine wood, fine linen, okay? We're going to have the earth in our hands, and we're going to be able to do our do what we want, okay? We're going to really be kings, all right? And that seems far-fetched to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because the Lord has brought you down so low. Okay. Uh, it says the second part says if we deny him also he'll also deny us. So if we if we uh are ashamed of the Lord, you know, have no faith, when the Lord comes, we're going to die with the faith with the unfaithful because the scriptures say all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right? Um so with that um, I don't think I have any more precepts to grab. Actually, Salakia, yeah. let me grab this real quick. This is Romans. This kept popping up, but I didn't grab it. It's Romans chapter 8. Uh, I'll read 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the, of, of the Heavenly Father. And if children, then heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with the House Shai. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. All right. So we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai if we suffer with Yahweh Shai. It goes hand in hand. You're not going to be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven without going through suffering. It says that we may also be glorified with him together. So we're going to receive glory when Yahweh Shai receives glory. Okay. When Yahweh Shai makes his return, we're going to be glorified. Okay. Verse 18, it says, for I reckon... That the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay? So, even though we're going through sufferings right now, the Heavenly Father, alright, the scriptures say that it's a light affliction. It's not comparable to the, to the riches and the glory, okay? The women, the children, okay? And all the goodly things that we're going to receive, okay? The sufferings that we're going through right now, it's not comparable. All right. Let me um, actually grab that. This is um Second Corinthians chapter four, verse uh, sixteen. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Our spirit is we're gaining more faith each day. Okay, even though our, outwardly we might be uh corrupting. Okay, we're decaying. All right. Verse 17 says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Okay? So we, we, we're going what's coming to us is is far more glorious, okay, than what we're going through right now. There's no comparison. Alright? Verse 18. Are we look not at the things which are seen? Alright, we don't look at the things that we're seeing, the hell that we're catching right now. But at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. All right. So I'm going to end it on that. Lord willing, this is an edifying video. 
to whoever watched it. Uh, call Halal Yahweh Bashin Yahshah Bashin Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to the sincere laborers, the sincere uh, believers. All right, and Yahweh Bashin Yahshah. All right, Shalom.